Uh, TGIF. Today is a little bit of excitement day. <laughs> I'm nervous and happy all at the same time. Let me just say that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo! OMG. Y'all know I believe what's about to happen to me today. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, ooh, I'm so stoked. 145. And I'm going to go pick the little one up from school today. Because if she's gonna be excited too, y'all don't understand how long we've been waiting for this. And I'm like, <sighs> y'all don't believe, y'all will never believe who I'm about to meet today. You will never believe it. <laughs> you know what? It's she the goat. She one of the goats here on YouTube, y'all. And <laughs> y'all don't understand like how excited. I am. I'm trying to grasp myself so my anxiety don't kick in because I'm, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm a little bit, not, not scared, but nervous. <sighs> um, <ooh. laughs> I'm so excited because I've been wanting to meet her for the longest. When I tell you this young lady is so inspiring to me, her go get it attitude nothing can stop me she knows who her father is god himself and she don't let nothing stop her y'all she when i tell y'all my old self looking up to this younger yeah you can look up to people young and old and i really do look up to her like she motivates me in more ways than one with her affirmations everything y'all oh they look gonna be so excited but i need to go i need to go and get my baby out of school because y'all know it takes forever for them to get the kids out of school i'm dead serious i'm really really excited i done put my hair up put it up took it down because i'm really nervous <laughs> i am so nervous but yet i'm excited at the same time and Halo's been bugging me because she knows who we're going to go see. And Halo loves watching her too. So I don't know how Halo's going to... I don't know if she's going to be like stunned or... I don't know. But I can't right now. I am just... Let me get off this camera and y'all see. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday the next day, and I didn't come back and vlog. Um, we did um, go see Prissy Peach. Really? 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 going your wrong with that noise like seriously <laughs> who else kids like playing with? I, this is like all the craze right now okay 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 please it seems like that's all the craze right now and all the kids want these little things <sighs> between them and the poppets but let me say we went and seen prissy p yesterday and you guys let me tell y'all we went and seen her and y'all she is just so down to earth the person you literally see on camera is the person she is in real life like you can just see she's the same person she still has that same genuine heart um she's actually here in arizona visiting the elliott family of seven and I was able to meet another YouTuber family, y'all. She told me she was coming to see a friend, but I didn't know it was like another YouTuber. Um, and so she's visiting them. And she was like, you know, come over. So I thought that was sweet. Um, so we went over there. And once again, like I said, met the LA family. I met Prissy P. I met um, her husband. And um, the LA family is their five kids, her and her husband, and everybody was just so nice, so genuine. And I appreciate them for opening up their home to me and Halo so we can be able to meet Prissy. I went there um, strictly just to place my eyes and say, I see Prissy P, okay? <laughs> 
And when I seen her, I was just giggling. Y'all, you like, I felt like a big ass kid, okay, starstruck and all because I couldn't believe like I finally seen her. She is just so sweet, so humble, so down to earth. Like, she really who she is on camera. Like, that even seemed like the Elliot family, they seem pretty down to earth. Um, they daughter of Faith, that baby girl. OMG. She's so cute. Yeah, she is. She is the cutest thing. Y'all go check out their channel. They do a lot of um, hauls, grocery store hauls, um, shop with them um, videos. And so I'm, I'm definitely subscribed. I subscribe to both their channels. I will have it up here. I'll pop it up. Um, and if you ain't subscribed to Prissy, you definitely got to go subscribe to Prissy P. I um, mean, her family, all of her different family channels. I love the channel with her and Mama Bree because I tell you, Mama Bree be getting my life together. I, I love how she um, inspires. She hasn't been doing it much lately. She's just been doing it like a lot of just hauls, um, but she has health issues or whatever. But when I tell you that lady will come on here and speak some words and I'll be like, ooh. It's like when mama talk, you got to listen, you know. I didn't want to stay too long because I know that I didn't want to overextend my welcome <laughs> because um, Prissy P was there for the Elliott family. And I know they're going to be doing like um, videos and things like that together. So that was not my time, you know. So I didn't stay long. We chatted for a little bit. Halo got along with the kids. I mean, just instantly. Them kids came up. They was like, hi, <laughs> this is my name. I mean, they are some real down-to-earth people, and I like it. And when we leave, when we was leaving, the kids, one of the little boys started crying. He didn't want Halo to go. I think the other son was like, no, don't go. So they just vibe. And, that, and we were sitting there talking about it because their daughter, when I was telling y'all, um, Faith. Now that little girl got a whole personality of her own, but y'all, y'all remember like the Bernie Mac show? Well, Chris Sale's ex-girlfriend, but when she was a baby, <laughs> but we ain't gonna mention that. But y'all remember the Bernie Mac show, the, the baby girl. That's who Faith reminds me of. A whole person that girl, she'll read you real quick, okay, and get your life together. She only two years old. That little girl definitely needs to be on TV. So now I got on my around the house clothes on. It's time to get this mess cleaned up. <sighs> Laundry. My basket, Halo's basket, jacket. I gotta clean all of this crap up. My package stuff I gotta throw out. My child slept on my couch again. She's not supposed to sleep, but yeah, let's get this. We had in and out last night because when I was over there, visiting prissy y'all my stomach was growling because i hadn't ate all day so that was another reason why i was like i had to get out of here so i can eat and i had my coffee
you to use that one anyway let me show you what she's doing y'all um what i am learning that this kid two pays is full of shit that's cavity protection but i'm telling her to use mine because what i noticed like the kid toothpaste and adult toothpaste you know how it's colored right it's to be fluoride or whatever in there right well i think that stains their teeth over time and this is my favorite all time Two-piece, Arm and Hammer. Arm and Hammer Two-piece. You don't get no better than that. I'm telling you that now. Just got her using that. She can just use the other one when if we run out or whatever. Because I got a bunch of them because you can get them at the dollar store for a dollar. But the Arm and Hammer isn't expensive either. But it's the best toothpaste, you guys. Trust me, hands down. When it comes to getting your teeth white, if you, even if you don't find that if you don't have that y'all you can use like the toothpaste halo has put some baking soda on there cleans your teeth like no other um this video has turned out to be a clean with me on a saturday morning so um yeah so if you need some inspiration on getting your room and house together here you go because <laughs> i look i be trying to tell people all the time my house isn't always clean it's not it's not it be dirty but i have to like i said get back into the swing of things so i got rugs well the other bathroom rugs in the washer and that's gonna be done so i need to hey look leave that alone my camera's on there but you knock it over no um sort out our clothes so they can be ready once the washer see y'all she on it she on it the dryer had just went off and I was like, I'm going to see if she's going to get them clothes out that dryer because, you know, that's part of her chores. And she got up and got them. So proud of her. She doing her job. She earning that $6 a week, honey. Get it, girl. Now she's going to come throw them on my bed. And stop bothering up all my clothes. Who else kids get? Oh, this can go in Papa's bathroom. The the, the uh, rugs, those are his. I don't need those. Oh, she always like like to ball up my clothes, and oh, I hate that. Just take them out the dryer and lay them flat. Who else is like that? I don't like 
my clothes to be all balled up and scrunched up and wrinkled. Let me move this because this child was about to flip this open, y'all. She, she did. Oh, my God. This child. I use this for when I go uh, walking and running uh, to protect me from any and everything. Oh, y'all. So, for the most part, my room is all cleaned and picked up. Feel good. I need to tackle this bathroom, honey. That's whoo, whoo, whoo. Oh, a whole nother um, task. Anyway, I just don't want to overdo myself today. To be honest, I don't want to do too much in anything. I'm just lazy. I feel lazy. It's, it's a nice day out, but um, I was sitting here. It's on Instagram, and um, y'all know <laughs> this is my ooh. This right here is my weakness, y'all. That sushi, sunset sushi. And I am a hey, Halo and myself really want to try the platters, and they have um, three different platters. Let's see if y'all get y'all closer, y'all can see that there. But when I tell y'all this shit is good, it's good. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I go get one, which one I want to try. Um, that Baja roll is banging. Yep. Um, tiger roll, spicy tuna crunch. That's my favorite. The Arizona, yep. Mm. Six salmon, not nari, not, not, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. N I G I R I. I need my glasses too. I'll be straining my eyes really bad and I shouldn't do that. But, um, yeah, we might go get us a seafood, some platters today. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, for lunch but i really want to try this jamaican um truck too i want to kick them up i got so much stuff i need to be doing i need to go to sam's club um there's so much stuff y'all there's so much stuff and i'm so far behind so far freaking behind but we're going to get it all together. But right now, we're chilling. Um, Halo got the clothes out. I need to fold up these towels. These are my cleaning towels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. So it's later on in the day. What is it like? Five o'clock? Yep. Five o'clock. You guys, and I just went, picked up dinner, decided to opt out for Jamaican, a Jamaican dinner today. Um, I want to try this food truck that I had seen um, a couple of weeks when we had went to the drive-in theater. I was like, oh, I want to try that. So that's what I'm going to be having today. Halo, of course, she opted out for her sushi, honey. She's hands down sushi. So this is Jamaican. This is what I got. I got curry. I don't know. But this is some red beans and rice. What is it? Goat curry. Yeah, that's goat curry. So I know that's uh, cabbage, some red beans and rice. This, meal. this looks so good right now. I'm going to let y'all know how it's hitting. Uh, let me tell y'all the story. <laughs> I went up to the truck, right? And the guy, he was like, can I take your order? And I tell him, yeah, I want to I want to try your goat curry. And he was like, okay, that'll be $115. I was like, what? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, he's just joking or whatever. Uh, but this came out to like be $15 or whatever. So when he called me to get my order, y'all... <laughs> Wait a minute. Y'all that man. Now mind you, he he wasn't bad looking. You can tell he's tall, dark. And if you know me, I'm attracted to dark men. Like I love me a, a dark man, okay? But he wasn't bad on the eyes. I, I love. And he was smiling and giggling when he had me that food. Y'all reached out and 
went like this, had the food in his hand. I said, God damn. <laughs> Oh, no, not today. We gonna leave that alone. Give me my food, man. Let me go. But I was just like, mm, 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 mm. Bless the sister that's with you, okay? Because, uh, at some, now nah, I ain't gonna say, but I know she happy at some point in time of the day or something, right? <laughs> but let me try this food, y'all. Let me try this food and quit playing. But it's just something about a tall dark black man with big hands and he just masculine like i don't like that feminine look like you can bypass me with that but you know a man look like he can tumble in the dirt and stuff girl mm -mm. okay so let me try this goat Not bad. Not bad. Mm -mm. It's good. It's flavor all throughout this bad boy. I ain't never ate goat before. So I wanted to try the goat, you know. And they there. Mm. Pretty much throughout the week. So that's what we got. That's good. Let's try the red beans and rice. You can't too much go wrong with red beans and rice, I don't think. So let's see. Mm. It's a little dry to me. I like my rice a little wet. Mm. I'll be a little wet, but it's okay. But that goat is good. You can mix that in with that rice to be good. Let's see the cabbage. Now that to me just tastes like franchise cabbage. To me. Now, I like my cabbage a certain way, too, so, but it is what it is, but this, this goat is good. So, we just gonna mix it in with that rice and eat this. This is good. Mmm. I'll definitely be going back there again just to see the man hands, honey, look. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Yeah. Just imagine that goddamn tree trunk, y'all. <laughs> Ooh. See, not like a challenge. <laughs> Just imagine that tree trunk. Girl. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Let me quit. I'm going to finish eating my food and I'm going to be good. <laughs> but I know some of y'all can relate, honey. I know somebody out there can relate. They don't like black men for nothing, okay? It's the reason to it. But let me, let me, wait, let me say this. Let me clarify that because not all black men are the same. No matter if they dark skin or light skin, they not all the same. So I'm just saying, I'm going to put that out there. But I seen them hands and the way his hands were shaped, they were, they weren't pointy. They was round. They was, so you, ooh, you know the head. The head is just, mmm. I decided to come back because I just wanted to say something because it just dawned on me, y'all. Now, you never know who watches your videos or when they watch your videos. And I do have a friend that I do talk to periodically. And we were just good friends. Nothing more, nothing less than that. Um, but let's put a disclaimer. Don't, don't be in awe of your feelings about what I say. You know me. You know my personality. You know I like to kiki. And keep it real, it is what it is, but I don't want you getting in your feelings. You know who you are. So if you see that portion of the video, I hope you continue to 
watch but don't don't get mad by something that I just said you know you know who you are if you feel in a certain way you can always call me and well, we can talk um, and that's all I'm gonna say on that so um, you've been knowing me for years you know how I am I love a good kiki and it's just that's all it is it's just a good kiki am i gonna eat the food again hell yeah um hell might take you to go eat it you come here but it's good but it's like i said it's nothing more nothing less and i just don't want you to be in your feelings and if you are you know my number i just had to say that y'all because i kind of got i guess um our, our friendship got distant because uh some things i might have said that hurt people feelings and it's not intentionally to hurt people feelings i just be talking um if i'm saying something directly to you uh you will know it um i have no problem with stating whatever the fact is but um yeah so i just had to put that little tad bit out there come next week i'm gonna have to work all this food off but like i stated a million times before i'm not counting calories i'm still gonna eat because i like to eat but it's all in moderation and i just have to work harder and that's what it is don't wanna wake up